72, Lee Dixon and Ali McCoy step. Quick reaction after the England game. Is it this cutting up? Actually, it's fucking embarrassing that. Fucking hell, man. Nil nil with Scotland. Sorry, Lee, but if we can't kind of beat Scotland, if we can't kind of beat the third ranked worst team in this tournament, how are we meant to go far in this tournament? You know, we're all happy and probably overexcited after the first game against Croatia. Very good result, very good performance. Tonight, poor, lazy, lacklustre. Miles off the pace, absolutely miles off the pace. Shape performance. Where was I? Aye, so that was absolutely shit. Um, many England players not turning up there for the shade, not turning up in a major tournament. Yet again, you're only in the second game of the group stage. For a derby as well, a derby against Scotland. Knowing how poor they are, credit to them, they turned up the night, they showed passion, they showed fight, they had chances to win it. I think of the John Stones, header goes in early, that hits off the post. That could change things, but didn't create enough tonight, didn't test them enough tonight, didn't get on the ball enough tonight, didn't do anything well enough tonight, England, at all. Very, very poor, very disappointing, to be honest with you. Um, kind of fucking ruined me some of that now, because I thought, you know, I don't think England are going to win it, but I think we should at least get the semi-finals, depending on round of 16. Is this genius tactics from Southgate not getting with the win, not getting with first place in the group? Because obviously if we get first place in the group, we get France or Germany or Portugal in the round of 16 and we finish first. Second place in the group, we end up getting Sweden or someone like that who will finish second. So is it tactics from Southgate? Is it well played by him? <laughs> I don't think so. I think Southgate and the players went out there tonight trying to win from before the game, but then after the game, during the game, completely bottled it, completely fluffed it. You know, I mean... It's just poor, isn't it? Like, for me, I'd take the defeat of the draw against Croatia and then beat the Scots. That's what you'd want. You know, we've got Czech Republic on Tuesday who are unbeaten so far, winning a draw for them as well. We'll see how that gets on. But tonight from England, to sum it up, poor, lazy performance. Didn't show enough because, for me, if you're not going to win that, if you're not going to beat the Scots, then who are you going to beat? Do you know what I mean? You're not going to go far in the tournament if you kind of beat Scotland on the worst sides in it. And I know it's a derby and things can happen, but we just didn't play well enough tonight at all. Didn't do enough. And it's down haunting really to be nil nil, not even score a goal after the buzzer the other day. It's poor, and I just think big players again. Harry Kane, top goal scorer in the Premier League, not turning up. What? How's that? How can you be top goal scorer for a pretty poor side in Spurs who didn't have a great season? Didn't even touch the ball for us. Got subbed off rightfully so. Grealish, when's he gonna start? You know, came off, caused the old problem, but nobody in the night, man. Sterling again. You know, and many players disappoint. Many players not turn up. Typical England in the tournament. I'm pissed off. Ruin me night. Hopefully it doesn't ruin me somehow. We'll see how we get on on Tuesday. See who we're facing in the round of 16. That'll be. I'm going to bed. Let us know what you thought of the nice performance. Subscribe to my channel TV. We'll see you later.